Hi there, I'm Sandy Allnock here for Ellen Hudson with another watercolor tip. Today we're going to talk about shaving, and no, I'm not talking about beards at all, but shaving with pencil shavings onto your watercolor painting. Pencils can work, you can totally draw with your pencils and then use your watercolors, your tube or pan or whatever watercolors along with them, absolutely. But this is a very different technique for doing that. I've loaded a lot of color into a very heavy wash on this little hippo. And then I'm taking some, some little uh, sandpaper and I'm just sanding some shavings onto this so I can add a texture of blue on top of my little hippo. Isn't that cute? And the place where I just put some, some of those shavings, you can see those shavings, they'll move around and blow off of anything that's dry. So you want to paint the wet area and leave it wet while you're doing the shaving and then go ahead and shake off the rest or blow off the rest and then wait till it's dry before you start doing another area. And you can do different colors in different areas. And you can also move the color around a little bit depending on what kind of watercolor pencils you use. This was an Inktense pencil that I shaved in here. So it did release more color. You can see I've got more blue coming out of it. I've tried it with other watercolor pencils and some of those have a very soft effect if you go in and try to move it with the brush. So play around with the ones that you have because they're a whole lot of fun to add texture. So I would leave this one to dry completely and we'll come back and do his face later. And here I've, I've drawn some pencils and stuff for the graphics that we're going to use. And this is sandpaper that I'm painting now. So I decided I wanted to have a little sandpaper texture in there. So I did the same thing, just rubbing it on the edge of that sandpaper. I tried a couple different grits of sandpaper and they all seem to work well. You'll get different size shavings depending on what you use. And then you can go ahead and move the color if you want a little bit. You could also spritz the shavings that are over there on the, the paper, the scrap spritz, the scraps of pencil shavings. And you can spritz that and make a background out of it. So put it over some other watercolor paper and see what you can do with that. It'd be kind of fun. Or you could save them and put them into a little mini mister and make a little watercolor misting. So my body of my little hippo was dry, so I painted the inside of his face so that I could add some blue in the center and have the purple around the edges. Here's the pinnable graphic for this week. You can go pick that up on the Ellen Hudson blog and continue to make your little swatch sheets. They're available with a free download for you on her website. So you can pin that to your watercolor tips Pinterest board. Thank you so much for joining me. Take care. Bye-bye.